Hi Carpentry Addict, I'm Domingo Freire and you are again in your favorite woodworking and DIY channel. Today I will show you the easy way to install cabinet door handles. I want you to know about these cabinet handle installation templates. These templates will help you to correctly mark the holes to install handles that are fastened with two screws or with just one screw like the one you see here. The distance between the screws that hold the handles is a standard and this template works for the most common measurements we use when manufacturing cabinets. Both templates come with the correct drill bit to make the holes for both types of handles. If we want to install a handle vertically near the corner of the cabinet door, we must use this template. The first thing we have to know is the distance between the screws of the handle that we are going to install on the door. The distance between the holes for the screws of these handles is 12.8 cm. We are going to place the template in this way. By placing these stops in the corner of the door, we will be able to make the marks to correctly place the handle in a vertical position. Then, with selecting measure that we like, from the edge of the door inwards we can make the marks with a pencil. We always have to be sure to make the two marks aligned so that the handle is straight. Once this is done, we can make the holes. But many times we want to place the handles in the center of the door and in horizontal position. For that, we will make a mark on the edge of the door that indicates the center. This that I show you also serves to locate the door handle to one side or the other, but we will always use the center of the handle as a reference. Using this other template, we are going to place this part on the line that we mark on the edge of the cabinet door. You can see that this template gives us many options to place one or two bolt handles at different distance from the edge. We verify which is the size of the handle that we are going to install and at what height we would like to place it to be able to make the mark with our pencil. Once the marks are made, we can proceed to drill the holes. To prevent the drill bit from damaging our door at the back when drilling, I suggest you place a piece of MDF holding firmly with a clamp. I recommend using quick clamps like this, which have been excellent for me when working making cabinets. Remember to make the drilling perpendicular to the door and that the drilling function is select in your drill. Here you can see that the door was perfect on the back because we used this MDF strip. Now we just have to place the handle on our door and fasten it with two screws. I recommend this template because it is very easy to use. Using this tool is the best solution because it allows us to quickly and accurately mark the perforations when we have to work many doors in our cabinets. If you want to be a member of this channel, click the join button to acquire your membership. Remember to click on like, share and comment this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm Domingo Freire and I will see you in my next video.